On a recent trip to the Coronado Islands, the Mission Bell out of Point Loma sport fishing had three yellowfin tuna. Yellowfin are normally caught offshore. Of course, they had yellowtail, calico bass, and all kinds of other island species, but those yellowfin are an indicator that the El Nino is starting to shove more tropical fish in our direction. It is going to be a spectacular fall. The El Patron operates out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California, and they have a slew of one-and-a-half-day trips where you'll fish with only 10 anglers on board. Bluefin tuna fishing, yellowtail fishing is outstanding in Southern California, and there's no better way to do it than on the El Patron. 310-832-8304 or visit 22ndstreet.com. Hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, here in Southern California. We've got Seal Beach over to this side of us, to the left, and to the right, Huntington Beach, California, and it's a gorgeous morning. There's no wind at all here. We've got another albacore taken for you on board the Tribute. Exciting stuff as that bluefin and albacore, are they mixing? Is it going to happen? We'll let you know about that. Weather's up, however. We're going to talk about some weather because it's windy and nasty in some areas. How about a Dorado out of Dana War Sport Fishing for the first one of the season? More fish flowing up the Baja Peninsula. The other day on the Mission Bell, as you saw in the lead-in, they had yellowfin tuna at the Coronado Islets. There is so much crazy stuff going on, and you know what time it is. It's time for... The morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Mm, I really need this nectar of the gods. Got to bed about 2 o'clock in the morning, and here it is about daybreak. By the way, uh, YouTube, the uploads have been really slow lately. I'm still down here, at, you know, shortly after daybreak every day, but sometimes the YouTube uploads are slow. I apologize for that. That's out of my hands. Hopefully, this one gets up good and early for you here this morning. Man, hit that like button if you get a chance. It really helps us so much. Tick that little bell, and you'll be notified when there is new content. Subscribe to the channel. Now we're bearing down on 11,000 subscribers. I owe that all to each and every one of you. And share these videos if you get a chance. We're on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. And as always, it is such a pleasure for me to be here with each and every one of you. We've got a lot to cover with you, so let's jump into it. However, let me just mention, there's just a few spots left now on our Horizon day and a half trip out of H&M Landing in San Diego that departs on August the 15th. That is going to be a fun trip, let me tell you. It's going to be so much fun because I surmise from what I'm seeing that we're going to have a lot more tropical fish up here, like Dorado, like Yellowfin. We'll still have that bluefin around. An albacore bite? I don't know. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But that's going to be a great trip. And you can book it by calling H&M Landing, 619-222-1144. Tell them you want to get on board the Friedman Adventures trip. It's a a day-and-a-half trip departing on board the Horizon on August the 15th. And we are almost full also on the El Patron trip. That's out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. We're going from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And that should be a lot of fun. September the 15th, but almost all sold out. If you want on, you better send me a text right now. 657-227-6459. Include your name in there. And then we'll get you booked on that trip for the final spots that we've got. Can't tell you what we'll be fishing. It could be local bass. It could be offshore. That's what I'm thinking it'll be. But I'm not positive on that. It could be the islands. Wherever fishing is best on that beautiful speedy boat, that's where we'll be fishing. El Patron. Speaking of that, El Patron has a trip. And it's a day and a half this Saturday night. You may want to take advantage of that. And you get in touch with the booking office. 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. You can get in touch with them and book on a a day-and-a-half trip on the El Patron this Saturday night, 310-832-8304. Let me bounce you south of the border now. Let's start talking about what's going on in Ensenada. We are seeing more and more yellowfin, more and more Dorado. It's not wide open, not even close to that right now. A lot of the boys down there, I'm talking the Pongeros, are fishing 
those big bonita, the barracuda, great calico bass fishing down there, catching the occasional halibut. It has been great for guys like Louis Prieto on It's Four Reels Sport Fishing out of Ensenada. Our friends at Blackfin Sport Fishing with good, copious amounts of barracuda and big bonita. Man, they've been biting well. A few yellows also thrown in there. And then offshore, you can still come up with a bluefin. It's been a little bit more difficult here recently. Trolling the Mad Mac type lures, that's worked really, really well. That's a great way to get bit down there. And then also finding kelps. That is starting to be more and more prevalent down there. We're seeing more and more of those fish move in. As the warm water, we got a lot of 70 degree water going on. I see my surf fishing buddies fishing the low tide down here this morning in that 70 degree water. They're catching Corvina, yellowfin croaker, some halibut. It's just on fire everywhere we look. There's a biomass of fish that really is mostly on Tanner Bank, but man, it really looks good. All right, so that's south of the border. Let's bring you up to San Diego where, yeah, the tribute, man, another Albuquerque. Good job, boys. Mike Pritchard is the captain of the tribute. Mike said that they had a fish on a fly line. They stopped on some bluefin, picked off a few bluefin, I think four maybe, and then had a fly line albie. Fourth catch of the year on the sport boat. Some guys have been pointing out in comments, private boaters have had a lot more than just those four. So that is good news and doesn't shock me or surprise me one bit at all. What does surprise me is we haven't had a stop for five albacore or 10 albacore, something like that. And as this water warms up, I feel like our chances dwindle, diminish quite a bit because albacore are a cooler water loving tuna, 63, 64, 65. But Tom Durr, who's an old captain, man, is he old. Just kidding you, Tom. Uh, he said, hey, when we had him here in the channel in 86, we were catching them in 75 degree water. I've caught them regularly in 70 plus degree water. So fingers are still crossed that that is going to come together. And we are praying that we're going to see some more Alby. Nice job on the tribute, however. Fourth sport boat caught fish. The first one on the Aztec, two on the Lexia out of Dana Water Sword Fishing. And now the tribute catches an albacore and gives us all hope that there's still more to come. A lot of the boys that are making their great catches are out there on Tanner Bank. That's a long run out there, you know, 90, 100 miles, whatever it is. It's quite a ways to get out there. And right now the weather is kind of snotty. I mean, it's fishable, but it's a pain in the neck. And we've seen scores diminish out there a little bit. It's been tougher fishing. Some guys still have really good trips, but other guys are struggling in that rough, snotty weather. And hopefully it's going to come down soon. It sounds like it's still kind of uh, crappy out there here this morning, so we'll watch it very, very closely. During the daytime, Scott Grant was on the Thunderbird out of Davies Lock in Newport Beach. Scott's a great guy. He had a bluefin just demolish a 3-0 size hook, a circle hook. Scott said, man, can you imagine the power of a fish to have done that? So Scott said the guys on the Thunderbird were fantastic. They did a lot of sinker rig fishing out there. Incidentally, they said ringed hooks work better in terms of presentation when you're fishing sinker hook. There's been fly line fish. There's been sinker fish. There's been nighttime fish. But that weather being up is not helping us one bit at all. It's snotty weather out there. So we've seen scores like the Spirit of Adventure, David Rosenthal on a day and a half trip with great fishing ended up with limits of bluefin tended to 100 pounds. Great job, David. Love to see that. The tribute on that day and a half trip ended up with 21 bluefin and albacore and some rockfish to go along with it. On the Thunderbird, the trip that Scott Grant was on, I think they had 50 plus bluefin tuna. So scores are like that. There's still some guys getting limits. Those big Cadillac boats and that's the long-range fleet that are fishing this now, doing pretty well at night, and they're able to sustain in that weather a little bit better, being bigger boats and better equipped. But some of the smaller guys are getting their butts kicked. I was talking to the Pegasus yesterday. They were up there around 70 bluefin tuna, but they were saying, hey, it's kind of snotty out here. We're not liking this weather too much. So weather up, we'll watch it very closely. At night, those 300 to 400 gram jigs have been working really well, but in this weather, you might even have to go to a 500 plus gram jig to keep that vertical. You wanna be fishing almost straight up and down. When the captain says drop, you drop your jig down to the appropriate depth using metered line that changes colors every 100 feet. That's all 
super important to your success. Knowing exactly where your jig is is really a big part of this game and dropping when the captain tells you to drop. Fishing 100 pound, and I like 200 pound leaders when fishing at night. Not wide open at night, some guys entirely miss. Some guys say, we're over this, man. We caught enough during the daytime, but please keep that in mind. During the daytime, also, sometimes that bite gets finicky, so you're going to want to drop down to 25 pound fluorocarbon. At other times, you're fishing 30, 40, even heavier than that. And sinker fishing, 60 to 80 pound for the most part. But that light line, choosing a good hot bait, changing that bait regularly. A belly hook bait has been working well when you're fly lining. Of course, you don't belly hook when you're fishing a sinker. You don't want to do that. You come up through the nose and close the mouth. The bait looks more presentable, more natural. So that is the way to get it done. Some really good scores and a huge biomass of fish out there on Tanner Bank right now. I will tell you, it's impressive the amount of fish we are seeing. Private boaters are getting in on some local fish also. That is good news. There's also bluefin up there in the Channel Islands with the weather snotty right now. Uh, we know that because Pat Whitaker is up there making squid, but he's getting his fanny kicked. He's really getting his butt kicked. Talked to him about 2 o'clock in the morning this morning, and Pat said, it's pretty nasty up here, man. We got our you-know-what's handed to us. So a little bit of weather up there, and that's going to curtail some good fishing up there, maybe for a day or so. We'll watch it very closely for you. I'll get into that in one moment. All right, let's go and talk about our islands. Coronado Islands, that's interesting to see the Mission Bell with YFT there. Good yellowtail fishing. There's a lot of bass. There's barracuda, rockfish, whitefish, that kind of stuff. San Clemente has yellows at it. And most of those fish are 8 to 20 pound fish. Bite the surface iron, bite a fly line bait. Pretty darn well out there. Great calico bass fishing. Catalina Island, we see a pick at the yellows every once in a while. Good bass fishing. And also a few halibut every once in a while. We might even see a sea bass bite one of these days that's a little bit better. We've seen a few taken over there, and private boaters have had some success. And a few sport boat guys that are trying to keep a lid on it have been catching a few sea bass over there. Also, Channel Islands, phenomenal white sea bass fishing here recently. But as I said, their weather is up right now. It's nasty, it's windy, and there's pretty good swell that's been generated by all of this wind. But man, I'll tell you, it's three fish per rod right now. That's white sea bass. You're allowed to keep three fish per day per angler. And they've been doing it up there. New Hustler, the Endeavor, several other, but Mirage has been getting a good piece of it. I don't want to leave anybody out. The bite has been wonderful up there. Dropper loop fishing with a live squid or a fresh dead squid. Nice big hook, like a 5-0, even bigger than that. Has been super good. There's been some big yellows wandering around up in that neck of the woods. As I mentioned, there's been bluefin tuna up there. And, of course, copious amounts of rockfish just really help to round things out. But weather's up. It was up yesterday. It's up again here this morning. Should be another day or so, and we'll start to see that come down. Looks like it's going to be really nice next week, but that's the long-range forecast. Still kind of breezy right now. Looking at our local bite, and my God, I haven't seen fishing like this locally for decades. It is so good. San Diego, the local boats down there are just all over some great calico bass fishing, tremendous calico bass fishing. Every once in a while, a big yellow like they had on the Premier the other day, but local boats down there are all over the calico bass. There's some sand bass. There's still rockfish if you want to do that. Sometimes they catch so many calicos, they'll go out and top off with some rockfish. It's really phenomenal fishing. Dana Wharf, of course, we had that local Dorado taken. Our hats off to the folks at Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, perhaps a harbinger of great things to come of more and more Dorado that are going to be in here. And I think we're looking down the barrel of a tremendous late summer and awesome fall. And perhaps, I really believe it, with an El Nino predicted and all that warm water coming our way, I think you're going to see us go right through January. The first should be an incredible bite. So some good fishing, calico fishing out of Dana also. And then up here in the Long Beach, San Pedro areas, Davies Lock or Newport Beach are fishing this off the hook calico and sand bass fishing you know our good friend sam de la torre who does the show from his shop island fishing tackle in carson california sam's a great guy we have so much fun doing that show and thousands of you have been tuning in we deeply appreciate it by the way you can go into sam's island fishing tackle buy two knife jigs get one free 25 percent off costa sunglasses also you can go do that but sam was out on the monte carlo yesterday 
with his kids, Diego and Luna. And it was just one of those special father-son-daughter trips. He said it was great fishing, wide open dropper loop with a chovy. He said the bait looked so deliciously good. The chovy was just beautiful, in really good shape, swimming really well. And he said it was full speed. And Diego and Luna had just a great time with their dad. Nothing could be make me happier than seeing that. And, and that's playing out all over the place right now. I mean, dads and moms and families are out catching local bass. It's as good as you could possibly want it. It's a great way to introduce the family to fishing and the great outdoors. And it's just been a phenomenal bite. I'm not even going to, well, I can mention a few boats, but everybody is getting in on it. There's great twilight sand bass fishing. There's great calico bass fishing during the day. Gale Force, limits of calico bass. And they made the comment, we haven't seen fishing this good locally in many, many years. And they are so right about that. It's really good right now. We see the Monte Carlo, as we mentioned, with great fishing. The Native Sun with awesome fishing locally. The Freelance out of Davies Lock. The Victory, the City of Long Beach. All of these guys, a little bit of Barracuda, sometimes a lot of Barracuda in the mix. Also, sand and calico bass fishing here has not been this good for a long time, and I really highly recommend you get out. If you're trying to introduce somebody new to fishing, this is the time to do it. Brian Burrell doing a great job on the Monte Carlo yesterday with the kids, Diego Luna and Sam. He said Brian was all over it, and he wanted to thank the crew of the Monte Carlo, who runs out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro. He wanted to really send his very best to all of them for some really great fishing that went on. All right, and then we move you up into the Santa Monica Bay. They're catching a little bit more calico bass up there also, and some really good rock fishing, sand bass, a little bit of barracuda up there, up there in the Channel Islands. Island Spirit has been picking away at the calico and sand bass, a little bit of halibut every once in a while. Occasional white sea bass, plenty of whitefish, sheepshead, rockfish, all of that still in the mix up there out of Ventura Harbor Sport Fishing. 805 676 3474. Kids fish free on the Californian up there out of Ventura Harbor Sport Fishing on Sundays with a paid adult. Man, I don't know what to tell you. Fishing is so good right now in Southern California. I hope you've had a chance to get out and experience whether it's the bluefin or the possibility of an albacore runner, Dorado now starting to move in, or this great local bass fishing, you owe it to yourself to get out on the water really, really soon. All right, my friends, have a wonderful Thursday. I'll be at the Orange County Fair again tonight, if I can hold up. <laughs> it's, it's been a grind here this month, but it's been a pleasure to be with you all. And I can't thank you enough for your great support for liking and sharing and subscribing to the channel, ticking the bell so you're notified when there is new content. How about that show with Captain Eddie Leland and Tom Durr as they just sat and reminisced about some really great sport fishing memories. That was a special moment for me, and I think you will enjoy it. Of course, Tackle Shop Confessions the other night with Sam De La Torre. You can enjoy that. Don't forget the El Patron going Saturday night out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro. We're on there on September the 15th. Better send me a text if you want to get on that one. That is super important. 657-227-6459. And the Horizon, August the 15th, H&M Landing, almost full now. Please, please, please jump on board that one. I'll be on all those trips that I mentioned, the Freeman Adventures one. So September 15th, August the 15th. I'll be there to shoot photos and a video of you making an extraordinary catch, I'm sure. All right, my friends. Man, you hear all those birds? I love the sound of those birds in the morning. All it means is that there's a lot of fish here in the surf. And these little devils are such good friends for pointing that out. Man, whole flock of those little devils right now. All right, my friends, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. As always, it's my pleasure to spend my mornings with you. And I hope to see you really, really soon.